Hello, welcome to the world of data science um, on the proximity measures. Uh, today's topic is going to be Manhattan distance, supremum distance and Euclidean distance. Let's talk about Euclidean distance, but before we move on to Euclidean distance, let's uh, try to recap and what is Pythagoras theorem all about. I think we have seen uh, in our old school grade uh, what is Pythagoras theorem all about where it says that uh, in a right angle triangle, um, the sum of the squares of the two legs is going to be square of the hypotenuse value, which is nothing but in this case, 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. And this is what uh, the rule or theorem uh, talks about. And if you try to convert that into coordinates, the distance between 2 comma 6 to 5 comma 2 is nothing but 2 minus 5 the whole square and 6 minus 2 the whole square is equal to 5 square which is nothing but the square root is going to be 5 which is going to give us the length of the hypotenuse and similarly what is the distance between this 2 comma 2 to 2 comma 6 is equal to 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 6 modulus which is nothing but 4 and in this case it is going to be a 5 right um, this is the Pythagoras theorem but um, when we try to convert that into Euclidean distance and the same value is given by the Euclidean distance and because the Euclidean distance also talks about the same exact formula which is the shortest distance between two different points in a two-dimensional space or n-dimensional space, right? Um, because here we say that uh, it is just the simplest, uh, shortest distance between two objects described by the n number of attributes. And if it is uh, in a in a in a i comma j, if there are if it is defined by n number of attributes, we give the formula as x i one minus x j one the whole square plus x i two minus x j two the whole square and so on and so forth. But if there are two numeric attributes, let's define that to be x i one minus x j one the whole square plus x i two minus x j two the whole square. Now, why do we have to talk about Euclidean distance? Um, this is one of the important metric or the distance metric that we use for k-means and k-medoids and uh, I know you would have probably seen a lot of examples in Euclidean distance but uh, in this video I'm going to especially talk about how would, how do we find uh, the Euclidean distance in a better way especially if you are given with the n number of data points and that is the intention of this video and of course this is also used in the db scan algorithm as well Right, so we can talk about more on the Euclidean distance uh, when we talk about a specific example. Let's go to uh, um, um, Manhattan distance. In Manhattan distance, it is just a, a block distance given to different data points. You have to uh, find the block distance and uh, this is the block distance. Let's say uh, this is the value between 2 comma 6 and 5 comma 2. It is just uh, nothing but the block distance from here to here plus the here to here. This is the block distance. This is plus this. This is nothing but the block distance. And it is given by the formula as 2 minus 5 plus 6 minus 2. That's it. 2 minus 5, which is here and 6 minus 2 is here is nothing but 7 which is nothing but 3 which is nothing but 2 comma 2 to 5 comma 2 distance plus 2 comma 2 to 2 comma 6 you have to draw a um, line that intersects from 2 comma 6 to 5 comma 2 which which is going to form a right angle triangle and that is what it is all about 3 and 4 is going to be giving uh, the whole value and this summation is called the Manhattan distance, which is also called the block distance. But in most of the exams, you may probably be asked to find the Manhattan distance because it is very easy to calculate since there is no uh, formula for squaring and taking the square root, right? So it is much, much simpler to find the value. So in short, if you calculate the shortest distance, this is given by the Euclidean distance, right? But if you give the block distance from here plus here, this is nothing but 
block distance 1 plus block distance 2 is nothing but the Manhattan distance. All right. Let's go to supremum distance. It's just a simple formula as per the definition. Uh, you can go through this uh, bookish uh, definition anywhere in the um, internet. Uh, but in short, uh, the shortest of these, sorry, the, the maximum value of either 3 or 4, whichever is the maximum value, which is nothing but 2 minus 5 or 6 minus 2, whichever is the maximum, is going to give us 3 comma 4, which is 4. Max of 2 minus 4 modulus comma 6 minus 2 modulus, which is going to give you max of 3 comma 4 is equal to 4. And in this case, either 3 or 4, but since 4 is greater than 3, which is nothing but the supremum distance. Okay. Now let's uh, take a toy example as usual. Um, in this example, uh, we are given with uh, three different points which we are supposed to find the Manhattan distance and supremum distance and Euclidean distance. How do we find the Manhattan distance? Manhattan distance is nothing but a block distance, which is nothing but 2 minus 7 modulus plus 7 minus 1 the modulus, which is equal to 5 plus 6 equal to 11. So the modulus of 2 minus 7 plus 7 minus 1 is equal to 11 and this is a Manhattan distance and of course uh, since you have already calculated 2 minus 7 and 7 minus 1 which is going to give us the supremum distance as well which is nothing but max of 5 comma 6 which is given here which is 6 is the supremum distance and Euclidean distance is nothing but again 2 minus 7 the whole square plus 7 minus 1 the whole square is equal to 7.81 of course the square root is very very important i know this is very uh, childish example but let's look at a kind of little bit complicated example uh, here now this is one of the common problems which you may probably find it in the k-means uh, clustering example but uh, if you look at this graph this represents 2 comma 4 and this represents 3 comma 3 and similarly this represents 4 comma 2 right so you need to find the distance from p1 to p2 p1 to p3 p1 to p4 p1 to p5 p1 to p6 and similarly p2 to p1 p2 to p3 p2 to p4 p2 to p5 p2 to p6 and so on and so forth okay now this is going to be much much complicated uh, if you are supposed to identify all this calculated uh, distance using Euclidean distance of course but I'm going to give a very simple example uh, on simple methodology and how we can simplify the whole formula uh, so for a, for a simplified uh, for simplification purpose let us use square root of a as uh, square root of a something like this let's use uh, sqrt of a which is nothing but uh, square root of a okay now, the, the easiest way to find, uh, let's talk about distance of P1 to P2. Um, the Euclidean distance is nothing but this shortest distance. So, P1 to P2 is nothing but you can simply find from the graph. If you are given with a graph, you can just go by this plus this the whole square. Right? So, simply it's going to be square root of 1 square plus 1 square is nothing but 2 square. And based on this easiest, so you don't have to, the important part is from here to here, you don't need to calculate 3 minus 4 plus 4 minus 3. You know that this is going to contribute just one unit from here to here and from here to here. So you just have to go with this value, which is nothing but 1 plus 1, 1 square plus 1 square. So that's what we're talking about here. Similarly, if you go to p1 comma p3 it is nothing but this distance plus this distance you already know that this is two units from here to here and similarly two units from here to here so square root of 2 square plus 2 square is nothing but square root of 8 and similarly p1 comma p4 is nothing but you already know that this is just three blocks away from here so you can simply go by square root of 3 square and similarly p1 comma p5 is nothing but here now for that you need to understand that is given by p1 to p4 
5 is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4 square plus 1, 2, 3. Or you can go by this path if you are if you're going to be taking much simpler, nothing but 1, 2, 3 square plus 1, 2, 3, 4 square, which is nothing but 4 square plus 3 square is equal to square root of 25. And same way, P1 comma P6, write 1, 2, 3, 4, the whole square, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is just 5 blocks away from this point because this is the intersection point from here to here, right? So you just don't have to calculate 2, comma 4, 2, 7, comma 8, which is much... Uh, um, uh, laborious activity. So to avoid that, if you are given with a graph like this, especially you can simply find the uh, Euclidean distance with this formula. And similarly, from P2 to P3 is nothing but uh, um, 1 unit plus 1 unit, which is nothing but square root of 1 square plus 1 square. And similarly, P2 comma P4 is nothing but it is just uh, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 units which is nothing but 2 square plus 1 square and p2 to comma p5 is given by is nothing but 1 2 3 4 this is nothing but 4 square which is 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 square and p2 to comma p5 is going to be square root of 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 so the whole square root is going to be 5 and Similarly, we can calculate P2 comma P6. Uh, again, uh, P6 is here, P the intersection point is here. So from here, you need to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 squared plus 4 squared is nothing but uh, 16 plus uh, 25 is equal to 41. The whole square root is going to be 41. So the square root of 41 is going to be um, the distance value. And similarly, you can simply calculate P3 comma P4 and P3 comma P5 it is given by square root of 29 and so on and so forth. By doing this kind of uh, calculative math, you can definitely save a lot of time, especially when you're given with uh, um, a problem statement on the k-means problem or k-means clustering problem in data sense in future. You can easily calculate the Euclidean distance using using uh, this logic instead of calculating the whole logic based on two comma six minus uh, three comma four, uh, the whole square and all those values. You can simply use it. Uh, you remember the Pythagoras theorem. Remember the hypotenuse uh, formula. Remember uh, the block distance formula. Just square it up, and you will definitely get the answer. And that is the intention of the whole um, video here. Um, because the Euclidean distance is one of the important metrics uh, that you will definitely be asked in every questions, every every data science interview or every data science exams, especially in the k-means and uh, db-scan algorithm or also in the um, uh, k-means clustering and a uh, lot of problems you will definitely be asked. So remember the fact, uh, remember the uh, block distance square. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, to simplify your uh, calculative part of the Euclidean distance, keep uh, watching this space for uh, more data science videos. Thank you.